Damn it. We'll just watch that oh. episode after this. Also, it needs more uh, Kato Sicarius. We'll get more Kato Well, actually, I don't remember if we get... Well, actually, yes, we do. Anyway. <laughs> we'll watch this one, and then we'll move on to the next episode. Your hive scum. Oh, no. Yeah. Underlord hive scum. Oh. I don't know what kind of person this is, Fable, or what the hell they would be doing, but yeah, they're just like that. Terminate your treading, creature. Turn around. Mm. My lord. What are you? That is a very good question. <laughs> Why do you have those wiry protrusions? Hardly consistent with a standard human biology. And why do you have an extra leg? What? Oh, he's a mutant. Oh. Legs. What is this? Oh, he's a mutant. Extra leg have a high heat. And is that gun a flintlock? Why? I don't imagine you going into combat. And for that matter, why did you replace your hand with it? Can you even fire with it? Why are you wearing shackles? Why no. Do you have no shirt. Why do you have <laughs> bells everywhere? You are <laughs> loudly chime with your heavy <laughs> step. Yes, not very strategic. Can you even hear with all those rusted bolts in your cranium? Dear what God. is the purpose of the horse mm -hmm. skull? Where did you even find a horse? And yeah, that's a good question. Where did you find a horse down here? Why do you do this? <laughs> this sounds like something Fable would say. I mean, Why at this do you point. Do this? At this point, if you're telling me this is a high world like Necromunda, then yeah, I, I kind of gave up on that because that place is weird and filled with death. I mean, and, and high. Most high worlds are. Yeah, it depends on how far you are. Kono, just so you know, high worlds are basically giant population centers. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're they're mega cities, and apparently a lot of um, because of how many people there are in the hive. A lot of uh, chapters recruit from Hive Worlds because of the abundance of people. Yeah. That mm -hmm. and that and because a lot of the time, a lot of the kids there are either uh, in gangs or have probably killed a man, and they're like, "Yeah, we need you on our team if you can survive." That is. Yeah, that does happen. <laughs> yeah. Why do you not? Hmm? Not what? Have <laughs> For I am humanity's finest. Humanity's finest. Oh. You're not human. That is the great answer. I mean, he technically is human, but that's I going on. The circumstance, the single speck of a drop spilled from the cauldron of man left oh. to fester on its own. It's got depressing. You are a tool cast in a uniform mold, an interchangeable pawn devoid of identity. Wow. Even with all my failings and imperfections, I am more human than you will ever be. Wow. This does not explain the horse skull. <laughs> also, heresy! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he did raise a good point, though. And his individuality is what makes him human. Your delirious aesthetic changes nothing. Brother Plexus, Fortify was detected. Report. Affirmative. I purge this meeting. Also, I am Brother Bobbins. My apologies. I neglected the tactical display. Come, Blobobus. We advance. Blobobus? They didn't even call them the right yes. name. Of course. Mm. He takes the horse skull. <laughs> <laughs> to have a bit of individuality. Oh my lord. It is an interesting thought, though, of that crazy person being more human than Astartes through his individuality. Oh, Astartes, are, Astartes are supposed to be weapons to fight off the enemies of mankind is the problem. Yeah. It's a whole thing, but yeah, I hope you guys liked us reacting to this little video because I like it. Mm -hmm. Also, 
Brother Bobblemus. Bobblemus. Mm -hmm. There's a thing, though. The Hive Worlds are so filled with people that there's basically, um, there's basically, like, the Underhives have a, um, the under it's kind of dark, but they have a, uh, they have essentially kind of like a meat grinder, so whenever someone dies, which is normal in a hive, because there's always someone dying of one reason or the other, they basically have something called corpse starch, which, oh, as yeah. the name implies, is literally food made from the corpses. The problem with that is sometimes the uh, sometimes the people that work on it go insane and start worshipping one of the chaos gods. So once they start, or before they can, they have to be, well, they have to be purged. And then yeah. they start over again. Pretty much. It's a... Uh, I yeah. think that was kidding. That's literally the lore. If they work on it too long, <laughs> they start worshipping like a chaos god. And they're like, alright, we need to stop that right now. Yeah, let's we don't talk about that. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you like our stuff, subscribe and uh, check out the Patreon if you really like what I'm doing, if you really want to support me so that I can keep doing this kind of stuff. Then yeah, the Patreon is literally one dollar. So yeah, I'll see you guys later and uh, check out bye. these guys. Pay, uh, I just imagine Crow going, bye, have a wonderful time. Like that one dude. Bye, have a good time.